Welcome everyone back to Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus. We are here in Akros Towers. We need to interview or have a chat with the rest of Spica hours before their anniversary performance. And Rian is hospitalized. She's being taken over by an angel. Then that doesn't sound as nice as it might sound like, but we need to save her. And hopefully she can make an appearance at the concert because I'm sure a lot of fans are counting on seeing her. A lot of fans love Spica because of Rian. I'm sure of that. Just mention my name, it's Ko Tokisaka. Alright, we're going. Let's do it. And I get, and again, I'm guessing that this will lead us to a dungeon in the theater. Because apparently there's been weird sounds coming out of the speakers. Maybe there's like, I don't know, can't backing vocals with Rion singing over it but don't visit her because she's in no shape to be seen here comes the rest of Spica already in their outfits that's early to the emergency, do we postpone the show or do we carry on? Yeah, we're gonna tell them. Are you perving out, Chio? I mean, I can't understand, but try to try to be discreet, all right? No touching. And that's what happened. Well, I wouldn't call it exactly dumb. It's not her fault. Was she possessed in the hot springs? Did the angel come from there? Well, she's been possessed, so it is kind of... You know, she's kind of the catalyst of those weird things. Even though it's not really her fault. She's the conduit, if you will. That's an understatement. It's all professional, don't worry. We don't have to like each other, but we need to perform together. Is she, is she a Sundere to Rion? Or does it only apply to female male relationships? I don't really know. You need a group or a band. You need they need to have that special bond in order to last long. Cause too many bands end up losing members, getting replaced and then coming back. And so on and so forth. It's rare for a band to really stick together. Alright, go on. Looks like only. What's her name? Reika. 
all right two of them are newbies so the two senpais probably know it I guess we gotta check the sound system right after your debut that's weird it is your debut you don't have anything to lose because you haven't won anything yet look at that dude downstairs with the cap is she just talking to I don't know someone about nonsense stuff is she even working I assume he's a stage hand but Nope. So if I'm guessing if Rian is stressed or not feeling positive, that's when bad things come out. When everything was going well, everyone is on the same page. Then the angel doesn't bother them? Is that what's happening? Good luck carrying on who will take over Rion's parts. That's gotta be big shoes to fill. Well, I don't think she's she can really hear it right now, but go on. I actually expect her to perform, maybe even just the last song as an encore. She'll definitely be there. Count on it. That's a lot of message to remember. Well, I'm sure Mitsugi can memorize it because she's the sort of council president. Alright, what, what message did we tell them? Alright. Gotta research this incident three years ago. But maybe this angel thing isn't new, but it's, it's just become more powerful now and it's able to take over. Where are we going? Alright, we have to go to the hospital. Hmm. Is that where the next dungeon door is going to appear? Alright, karaoke place. That's one. What are we waiting for? Where's this karaoke place? I don't think I've been there. Maybe it's not an available place to go to. You can ask reception probably. They remember. You know a karaoke place? That's great that they have fans that are not guys as well. Wait, where are we going? Okay, there is a karaoke place back here and that's probably it.
Refreshing voice. Hey, it's Goro. Always helping us out. Always appearing here in Horaicha because he lives here. It's this one? Or are you here to point us in the right direction, huh? I still think he's more than he appears to be. Here we go. Here we go. I told you, he's not just an ordinary teacher. He is someone that's more knowledgeable about the Eclipse than he appears to be. I guess he was the military dude who partnered with the White Shroud. I might be wrong. He might even be the, be the White Shroud, but I'm not sure with that. We'll see more of him, I guess, in the coming chapters. Alright, we need to purify this cursed item. To sound like Rion. Play her voice? No? What are we? Oh, it's the scanner thing to find the door. Is there someone sitting there though? Is it vacant? Because karaoke places usually are booked. They're fully booked usually. There's a queue. That's where the dungeon door is going to be. Let's save before entering, just in case. Just trying to be safe. Even though I haven't done any reloads, I'm sure we'll handle it, but still, just as due diligence. Alright, let's go. Oh look, it's not gonna be just the three of us. What's the point of splitting up then? So last time we split up, we were stuck with the members that we have, that we had for the dungeon. Here it looks like everyone is coming along. I'm not complaining. So we should pick a song from Spica so that we can play Rion's voice. Or is there no need for that? It's a cursed TV. Is it gonna appear once it's Rian's solo part? There it is, it's her part. Alright. Hopefully the TV is not cracked. It's expensive to replace the screen. In we go. Is this gonna be a pink dungeon? Cause it's Rion. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. There it is. It is pink. Is this gonna be a? Uh, I don't know. A l l it's probably a lady. Gre oh yeah, it's might be the angel thing, but it's gotta be a lady boss. There it is, angel time. Oh, 
Well then, I'll be your... Hmm, let's see. According to level, Yuki will save you for the boss, because you're a fan of Rion, so you get to avenge her predicament. So wait up, alright? And that's it, we have reached the end of the episode, because it's dungeon crawling time. Next time we're going to be at the end of this dungeon, and we'll kick some angel ass to save Rion for the anniversary concert of Spica here in Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus.